Hi Capricorn, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. Today we have a cool reading, Capricorn. Why do I say that? Because I'm looking at these oracles. I hope you guys are all well. And if you need a five minute psychic reading, you may get one. They're free, right? Yeah, for sure. And you have to click on the link below uh, with Mystic Sense and all the information is there for you. And if you would like a private reading with me, I have them set at a promotional price. Uh, yeah, almost half off. Yeah, I would say. Yeah, definitely. And uh, the link, or not the link, but the information is on my About tab here on my YouTube page. And you can go check that out, right? Yeah. So let's get into a Capricorn. And I hope you guys are well here. And we start with the fox. Yeah, we start with the fox, right? In high school, the fox was, you know, um, a beautiful woman. Yeah, it was. Like... It definitely was, and uh, you know, if you were foxy, you were cute, right? And I remember this one guy, he dead, he's dead now, uh, he died, and uh, mm -hmm, he used to always say that, right? Uh, yes, he used to say that to me too, uh, I'm sure he said it to other women, uh, he was kind of a, he was a really kind of charismatic guy, yeah, he was, mm -hmm. and his name was Dexter, uh, which was a kind of a cool name too. So let's see what it says here. Uh, about the fox, yeah, and this is, uh, I think it's earth energy, smart, strong, partner, or mate, wise teacher, the fox is an enchanting creature with plenty of mystique to go around, yeah, fox personalities are skillful in business and also make great teachers, they are quick to learn and adapt well to new situations, foxes are ideal partners as they commit to relationships for the long term and their natural charisma, you see, keeps things exciting a fox energy helps us stay true to those most dear to us when this card appears reconnect to those you love foxes don't do well when they slip away interesting right yeah and uh let's see what energy i think that's the uh the earth coming from the uh coming yeah coming from the uh yeah definitely it's earth energy yeah the field and the forest definitely okay so uh, somebody here, Capricorn, wants to protect a union with you, a relationship, and uh, they're going to come forward, I'm pretty sure here. We also have guardianship, and this is about protection, and this is uh, the wolf and the rose hip. So this is definitely protection, and uh, it is, and that's what somebody wants. They want to protect this. Here's the kangaroo, and this is uh, as events take on their own momentum, you take a true leap forward. Okay, so this isn't like, you know, taking a little step, a true leap forward. And uh, here she is with her baby marsupial, right? And so, <clears throat> yeah, some something's going to happen here. And we have the owl spirit, Capricorn. And there was a Capricorn who, you know, told me that she was going to see owls everywhere. That's what she said. And I said, okay, good. Right. <laughs> and this is, you see clearly now, right? Just like Johnny Nash used to sing in the sixties. I was a reggae. I can see clearly now the rain is gone. Right. <clears throat> I used to love that song. And, uh, I don't think it was about real rain. No, but when you're a kid, you might think it's real rain, right? Yeah. Listening to it when you're really young. Uh, and that, I was really young when that song, I feel like I uh, used, to, used to hear it on the radio. Here's the Aquarius card. And this is, uh, mm -hmm. this, this Aquarius card, Capricorn, uh, talks about somebody finding their place within a group, but at the same time, asserting their own unique vision. Uh, somebody, I feel like, thinks that you're their tribe here and they want to protect this now. And this person here, where's that? Exp oh, this person here is uh, seeing clearly now. And I feel like this is saying that they have grown and that they didn't see clearly now. No, <clears throat> things are going to change and they're going to move. Uh, they're going to speed up in this, in this situation. Yeah, mm -hmm, definitely. <clears throat> so let's see what else we have. We have somebody coming here, Capricorn, who is true, like true to their mate, unless this is you, the Fox, right? It could be. So let's see what else we have. Yeah. For Capricorn's. And their person, and your person, Capricorn, has, uh, I have their cards here. And we will talk about those when we get into their energy. Uh, I always have two cards. And those cards are the ones that are the beginning of their tarot, their oracle spread, rather, right? Yeah. So let's see what else we have. For Capricorn's person, yeah. For Capricorn and their person. <laughs> Okay, 
Den sø her. <coughs> The bottom of the deck uh, for your person is the Nine of Cups. So here they are, Capricorn, wishing and hoping. I believe they are, right? To be with you, I feel like they are. Let's see, the bottom of your deck is the Magician. So here you are wanting to manifest this as well. So I need you guys to get together, Capricorn. Yeah, I do. So you can, you can, I don't know, hammer this out, hash it out, whatever. You were in the Nine of Swords energy in the past. Wow, Capricorn. These are like similar cards that have been coming out. Wheel of Fortune's reversed. The Lovers is here. Temperance is here. There's a healing here. There's spiritual growth. I feel like you wanted this person to choose you or maybe you chose them to be with them and they weren't available or something. Because here you are in the past in the Nine of Swords energy. Maybe your person is uh, is Gemini because, you know, the lovers is on your mind here. I mean, this could be just you guys are lovers, but your person could be Gemini, right? And, you know, these people are in their, in their uh, birthday suits here underneath and she's, they're looking up to her and she's saying, hey, uh, this is blessed. This is, this is part of your fate and destiny here, you know, here she comes, the angel basically speaking for the universe, right? Or speaking for their divine source energy, right? Wake up. And the guy has his hand here, kind of like, duh. I mean, like it's, you know, it's a little bit funny here. We're not making fun of men. Uh, no, we're not. But just, I just noticed that right now he has his hand. He almost looks like he's like, like he was doing something kind of. And then here the angel shows up and he's like, Oh, his hands like this kind of right. So, you know, your challenge though, Capricorn is, uh, temperance and she's right here. Another angel, right? Two angels here. Uh, and this is kind of a heavenly, uh, a heavenly situation or heavenly union or heavenly like connection. And this person <clears throat> sees clearly now. And I feel like you are in the nine of swords energy. Like, are they ever going to see clearly? I'm pretty sure here you were crying Capricorn. I told you not to do that because, you know, your mascara runs, right? It does. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Excuse me. And uh, we have the five of wands in your hopes. So you want this person to step, you want this challenge to end, or you want them to end competition. <clears throat> you want them to step out of this struggle or stop struggling, something like that. And I feel like you want it to come to an end most likely because it's next to uh, temperance, which is healing and uh, your fear, your doubt is a page of cups. And you know, the page of cups, although is a messenger, it's also this energy where, you know, follow your intuition about your feelings because the cups are here and the fish is there too, right? Unless, you know, and here he is like holding the cup here, Capricorn. Uh, he's holding it. He looks like he's offering it here. So you're afraid, I believe, that this person, uh, like, they may not offer you or you're just in a negative about it. Like, this probably won't happen. Uh, that type of energy it looks like. And your unknown is the Six of Pentacles. <clears throat> the Six of Pentacles is, you know, I don't know, is life going to be fair to me maybe? Or, you know, maybe you're in that type of mindset. Or am I going to have a give and take relationship with them? Am I going to have balance or harmony? Because, the you know, the scales are there. And so, yeah. And let's see what we have for them, Capricorn. Yes. And uh, let's see why you have temperance in the challenge. Though. Let's see. Maybe your person Sagittarius. And the Emperor. Wow. They could be uh, uh, Aries. <clears throat> like you can't heal this and take the, until they take control of their own life with the Emperor. Right? Right? If you're dealing with somebody else and uh, they don't take control of their life, they're nothing, there's nothing you can do. That's why the power is always with you right? Just like if you break up with somebody and, you know, uh, you can never make it work with them because, you know, they come from a psycho family or just something like that, right? They're just throwing any, any reason out. And, uh, you can't because that, that power is not in your hand. So the power, the only power you have is to go focus on your own life, right? Yeah. So let's see what we have for them, Capricorn. Let's see. And, uh, let's see what else it says about this Aquarius card. Maybe they're an Aquarian. Yeah, this could, this usually talks about uh, Aquarians like to march to the uh, to the beat of their own drum. They do. 
Yeah, and they're kind of, they're a little bit detached. They are. All air signs are a little detached. Yeah, this is about somebody who, like, has their own ideas. And it's next to you can see clearly now, right? So your own ideas, like, you know, I'm going to go do what's good for me. Yeah, so let's see what we have for your person. Two of Pentacles reverse, four of swords reverse, three of swords. Ouch, Capricorn, right? Yeah. <clears throat> two of swords. <clears throat> World card. Two of wands. So Capricorn, your person's challenge is the fool. So this is, you know, they want this new adventure, right? They do. They want adventure here with you. Yeah, they want to get real adventurous, if you know what I mean here. Yeah, this person here. This person, like, respects you, and they think that you are, like, good for them. This is, like, <clears throat> making a choice, like, to better my life, right? Hopefully, right? Anyway, but uh, this is kind of like, I can see clearly now, this is your person uh, as the owl with the crown on, right? Here's the beautiful owl here. Uh, mm -hmm. and he's holding something. I'm not sure what he's holding. Maybe it's a keychain. Uh, it's hard to tell here, but he's holding something. This is the barn owl, and he's really beautiful. Uh, and, you know, he's got this crown on. So, you know, when you, when you can understand things, then you are really, you, you know, you can wear a crown, right? Crown chakra, right? Basically. So, <clears throat> What's on your person's mind is the three of swords underneath the lovers. You guys are in this similar energy about challenges. Like this person here wants their challenge as a fool. I want this adventure. And your challenge is I need you to take control of your life so we can have this adventure. Or maybe this is you doing it, right? It could be. The readings could be switched. <clears throat> Excuse me. The four of swords reversed with the two of pentacles reversed, Capricorn. And this is, you know, uh, I feel like your person, I feel like they already came to a conclusion in the past. I think they did two of pentacles reversed. I feel like they went back and forth for, uh, I don't know, months on end or something like that. And the four of swords is reversed. This person's feeling a little, a little restless. I also feel like this person kind of already made up their mind about something that they no longer want to give to or recover or build or or help or assist or something like that in this reading let's get some cards and uh, what they want here what they're hoping for is the two of swords so you know this can mean a few things right it, especially in their hopes uh and their fear here is the world so uh with the fear of Capricorn, let's look at that here. With the fear as the world <clears throat> or the doubt, and she's here, we have to cover her a little bit. But, you know, this is like, for me, this is like, if I don't do this, if I don't go toward Capricorn, uh, then I'm not going to have my wish world card. I'm not going to have major wish fulfillment. I'm not, I'm not going to accept the maturity that's being handed to me. I'm not going to like move forward in my life and, and feel this growth and these experiences. The world card is full of experiences. It went through each major arcana. Yeah, it did. And this is really ending a cycle to begin a new one. This is a, a new cycle of how to live and the way we see things here. The owl spirit, you can see clearly now. Now, the kangaroo, as events take on their own momentum, you take a true leap forward is, you know, is matching up with the fool in their challenge, right? Yeah. So what they want here is the two of swords is between the fool and the world card. This means like, well, I got to do this. That's what it means in this reading. I got to do this and I don't have a choice. Yeah. Did you guys see that movie? Uh, what's it called? <clears throat> Forgot bless me somebody and uh the owl is the one who swoops down and gets the bad guy right um kind of forget the name of that movie bless me ultima so that's on hulu but it's a great movie it's about a curandera right who is you know an older mexican woman who you know who cures people the natural way and plus she's got you know psychic powers as well and 
she's using bow so they try to call her a witch but the owl is the one who swoops down and gets uh, this bad guy real bad guy right? let's see what we have in the two of swords here uh, and here is the ace of swords yeah you see this person wants a new beginning ace of swords with you I have no choice here because in their fear is the world card. Like, I'm not going to have this if I don't do it. And in their challenge is the fool. It's like they know they have to do this. And so this person cannot live with this nagging thought, right? Just finishing life, going through life with like this, oh, I should have went to be with Capricorn. I don't believe they can deal with that. And the two of... <clears throat> Wands is showing up in their uh, in the unknown with temperance and the justice card. OMG. <clears throat> this could be saying that, you know, this two of wands in the unknown. Uh, let's get another card here. I feel like what that's saying is, though, is that uh, they're going to move forward with you. And, you know, maybe they are kind of, they could be married to somebody with justice, but... <clears throat> I just feel like what this means is that this person is seeking balance in their life and growth and wanting to live with wisdom instead of I'm ignoring uh, what's in front of me, which is you basically Capricorn. And, uh, I'm pretty sure let's get one more card here and just as maybe they're Libra, right? But you know, and then we have the page of cups reversed. Yeah. So, you know, uh, this can talk about, I don't know what's going to happen in court could be could definitely could be I for me this says like I'm not sure how my journey will be exactly but you can't like I need to just trust my wisdom here with the justice card be and trust my spiritual growth with temperance And walk away from something with this page of cups reversed. It's like this page of cups reversed is kind of like this. <clears throat> like I haven't been legit with myself. Or I've been super immature. Look at another card. Six of cups reversed. <clears throat> this is them returning to you. I feel like this is just saying that your person's in the unknown here. They're going to return to you, Capricorn, but they're kind of in the unknown about <clears throat> something that has to do with uh, maybe court here. But it has definitely has to do with this journey here. Six of Cups reversed is returning to you. And <clears throat> Temperance is here. They're returning to you because this is like part of their growth. They feel like you are part of their their journey, their spiritual journey. Yeah, they do. Mm -hmm. we're going to go to the extended Capricorn and uh, we start with reconciliation this was the first card that was randomly chosen for them yeah and here these are these two women and you know they're totally ecstatic and happy that they have reconciled crossing your person is experience and this talks about growth and here's the bigger hand reaching for the child's hand it's like let me let me lift you up with my wisdom this is experience Where's that book at here? Let's see what, what they have to say about that. So your person here is growing spiritually. We have temperance twice in the reading. Yours was in the challenge. Like I need them to spiritually, I need them to ascend. I need them to, uh, to grow up and, you know, and gain the spiritual wisdom basically, right? Sagittarian is, Sagittarius is about wisdom and adventure and philosophy and, you know, other things. But let's see what it says about the experience card. <clears throat> the body be a hand bearing the markings of age, swollen joints, stretched over wrinkled skin, dotted with spots. Maybe a person's older reaches down to make contact with a child's hand. The elder will guide the young person, sharing with them what they've learned. This your person, this is crossing them. They've learned so much here, Capricorn. <clears throat> In turn, the young invigorate, bringing new ideas and possibilities in their wake. Consider, this is aging, earned, knowledge, undergone. I feel like your person kind of suffered here. 
They have the Three of Swords here. The Two of Swords. The Two of Pentacles reversed and the Four of Swords reversed. There's a lot of swords here. Number one, there's three swords and there's only seven cards here. So they've already suffered and uh, yeah, they have. And experience encompasses the passing on of traditions, developing skills of survival, participating in the learning process and the exchange of information. The witchcraft, witchcraft is an experiential path. You have to live the process to understand it. What you do may result in scars, but recognize those scars as symbols of moving beyond trauma, pain, and mistakes. Honor your scars, but don't be defined by them. Be bold, but also be wise. Bridge the gap between generations rather than focusing on the divide. I feel like your person might have had uh, childhood wounds, right? Uh, we're going to see all about it. This person, their overall energy is reconciliation with you, Capricorn. Yeah, we're going to end this. We're going to have a 10-card uh, oracle spread finishing this, and we're also going to have a 10-card tarot spread on them. They're all super affordable, and the link is below in the description box. Thank you so much, you guys, for joining me here, and please remember to like, share, and subscribe.